Hi guys, it's Mandy here. So tonight I'm going to be doing a film review and I'm going to be reviewing The Prisoner of Zender, that, uh, the 1952 version, starring Stuart Granger, Deborah Carr, James Mason, Lewis Calhoun, Jane Greer, and Robert Douglas. Uh, and a bunch of other people as well, obviously, but <laughs> those are the really the main characters who are in this. Um, so this film, like I said, it was filmed in uh, 1952. It was um, directed by Richard Thorpe, and it was uh, adapted from a novel by Anthony Hope, and it, the screenplay was written by John L. Alderston, I hope that's how you pronounce it. Noel Langley and adapted by Wells Root. So this film was something that was a, one of my favorite films growing up as a child. Um, it's very, it's like a cross between Robin Hood and The Prince and the Pauper. Um, so if anyone who knows the story of The Prince and the Pauper, it's basically uh, a prince who discovers his uh, body double um, as a peasant, he's like a doppelganger. In this version, it's the complete opposite in which uh, a, a doppelganger has been picked um, uh, by, a, uh, by a member of the court to meet the king because isn't it fascinating that he just happens to look exactly like him? Um, so they meet and uh, events happen and uh, the king disappears and um, this guy has to stand in uh, for the king and a whole lot of shenanigans happen um, as they try to discover where the actual king is. <laughs> and um, it's, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a fun adventure swash, uh, swashbuckler. So um, it's not as exciting as Robin Hood, but it is still quite intriguing. It's a, it's a bit of a combination of, an, uh, like I said, an action adventure with a little bit of mystery thrown in there, which I, I really like. The, the romance between um, uh, Stuart Granger as uh, Rudolf Rassendel, who is the pauper character, if you will, um, is uh, is really fun. It, it's the the relationship gets very interesting because obviously um, he shouldn't really be involved with her because she's the princess and she's the one who's meant to be marrying the king. But uh, you know, um, sorry, I forgot to mention that Stuart Granger is actually playing two characters. He's playing Rudolf Rassendel, who I said who, as I said, was the pauper. And he's also playing King Rudolf V, who is the king. Um, so you get two uh, characters being played by the same actor there, um, which is a lot of fun. If you're a Stuart Granger fan, you get double Stuart Granger in this. Um, and uh, like I said, it's just for me, I think it's a, it's a fun film. Uh, a good bit. There's a bit of swashbuckling in it, not as much as I would like personally, but it's still a fun film. Um, Stuart Granger is very enjoyable. He's suave, he's debonair, but he's also a little bit cheeky. Um, but I, I, I quite like that about his character because I like characters who are, have a slightly cheeky edge to them. I don't like. I'm not a huge fan of slapstick per se, as a modern slapstick, but there is no slapstick in this. But, uh, you know, one thing I like about the old golden Hollywood films is that they are, um, the, the comedy is a lot more subtle, not quite so in your face as it were. It's not so blatant yet. Yeah, it actually makes you sort of think about it. And uh, they sort of, they don't patronize you as much. Um, I, tend to, I tend to feel that a lot of modern comedies tend to be very, excuse me, uh, patronizing and uh, 
a bit too on the nose. Uh, so this one I actually enjoy for, a, for like I said, I, I am a huge fan of Robin Hood. So if you like Robin Hood, the Errol Flynn version, uh, then this will give you a slight edge of that sort of sense of adventure. There's, like I said, adventure because they're having to discover what's happened to the king. There's a time limit. You know, there's a, a whole scenario going on with um, uh, Stuart Granger as the pauper's character and the princess who she he shouldn't really be marrying her he's not allowed he shouldn't really be um having the coronation he has to he has to stand in for the king before the coronation and it's all getting a bit crazy um so if you're interested in this particular film i would definitely recommend it i know there are other adaptations of this story um I have not seen any other adaptations of this story, but I would, uh, from knowing this one, I would probably recommend checking out some other versions of it as well, uh, just to see variations of it. I would like to see some more variations on this story myself, to be perfectly honest, because I do like this story. Um, so, yeah, that's my, that's my review of uh, the... Uh, my mind's just gone blank now. <laughs> What's it called now? The uh, the Prisoner of Zender. Sorry. My mind just went brain fart. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a quick one today, but uh, it's a very simple storyline, this one. It's a very simple film. Uh, again, the costumes are absolutely beautiful in this. Um, I would highly recommend watching it if you like aesthetically pleasing films, this one's very aesthetically pleasing. I like it. The costumes are stunning. Um, uh, Deborah Carr in it is absolutely stunning, <laughs> as she always is. She's always stunning, actually. Everything, everything she's in is always she's always stunning, um, especially the King and I. <laughs> but um, yeah, so definitely a good record recommendation for watching it if you like adventure films if you like a bit of swashbuckling if you like uh suave characters the villains in it are quite suave as well they tend to be quite uh i would like to say mustache twirling but uh they feel a little bit more sophisticated than mustache twirling they're a, they are a little bit mustache twirling but they're a bit more suave than that um you know it's not sort of uh typical um say james bondy type villains they're a bit more i don't know debonair as it were and relaxed and it's 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 rather interesting to see the difference in how villains used to be portrayed back then to now, and it's like they used to be a lot less more ha 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 type, um, or at least in this version of the film they do. Um, I mean, I don't know whether you, I uh, that's how I see it. I, you may think differently. You may think he's very more ha ha ha, but I I I don't think so. I think he's a bit more sort of. Let's have a glass of champagne and have a conversation type uh, uh, type villain. So, um, yeah, um, so that's my review of the film. Like I said, I know it's a short one, but uh, it's a very simple story to, to talk about. And uh, I hope you enjoy it if you ever choose to see it. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, night.